Well, India has won a record number of medals at the Tokyo Paralympics with as many as 19 medals in its kitty so far. Northeast Live News editor Nabaran Goswami spoke to one of the medalists who has made the nation proud at Tokyo. Well, let's listen in now to what our Paralympic hero had to say. Listen in. Well, it's been raining medals for India in the Tokyo Paralympics. The para-athletes have made the country proud by bagging a record number of medals. Behind every medal in Tokyo, mind you, is a story of grit, immense hard work, and battles won against all odds. Viewers, we are being joined now by one of the heroes of Tokyo Paralympics, high jumper Sharat Kumar, who made the nation proud by bagging bronze in the mega event. A very warm welcome to you, Sharad. First of all, many congratulations. You have made the nation proud. All the para-athletes have made the nation proud, Sharad. My first question to you, how was the experience uh, in, in, in Tokyo Paralympics, how was the experience in Tokyo? How did the medal winning moment feel like? And especially when the night before the event, you were reportedly on the verge of pulling out due to your knee problem. How did you mentally fought that and, and, and bounced back, Sharat? How has been the overall experience in Tokyo Paralympics? Uh, the medal winning was not something which I was looking forward to that day. The thing is, I, I was injured the night before, right? So I was quite depressed and quite sad about it. I was been crying the whole night. And in that manner, I was like, I wasn't even going to perform. But then luckily what happened was like, uh, I had a Bhagavad Gita with me and I started reading that. My parents told me to read that. And then I realized that it's not about winning a medal. You know, it's about doing your act, doing your job. What is your performance? Like, what is your duty? Don't worry about the consequences and results. And that's when I went to the ground and I was thankful to God that, you know, I was able to perform at such a big event and arena. So, yeah, the feeling was differently because, you know, the idea was not to win the medal medal because I was injured. So, participation was something which I was more looking into that, you know, let's just try and participate and give us a good show and at least be there for the others who can just see that, you know, they are this F that T63 guys are doing high jump. So, yeah, the feeling was icing on the cake that I got a medal. Though even I didn't perform to my best, my best was like 191 and I just jumped 183. So that was something which I was not complaining because I wasn't even supposed to compete at the first place because of my injury. I had a meniscus eruption. Absolutely. And then what you did, uh, you created history despite all odds. Sharad, you have won medals in the Asian Para Games. You have won at the World Event too. How special was this though? How special was Tokyo? See, World Para, uh, Para Asian Games, World Championship Athletics, it's got to be very small like because it's only athletics. But when you go for some events like this, you don't want to be like the one time to see that, you know, it's an event. You know that this is like a meet for people who are physically challenged. It is more like a space. It is an environment where we are all the same people. We are not different. We have a same story, how we feel discriminated in the society, how we are like judged in the society, how we are not treated equally in the society. So that space is the first priority for me. Like when I enter that space, I even wear a half man there, you know, thinking that, you know what, let the people see my deformed leg. There is no problem. But anywhere else, I, I feel a little obliged and a little shy and like, not shy, just a uh, little shy yeah, to wear half shots. But there, it was not such. So in that way, the thing is like, uh, the performance is quite well. Uh, the Paralympic Games is a big game, of course. There's so many athletes coming and everybody has their own stage and there's so many different performances happening. It's, of course, an honor to be part of this game. But for me, I think it's more of an environment. I want to be part of the Games because I feel it's home. It's my space. That that also brings me to my next question, Shara. Tell us something about your journey as an athlete, your early days. How challenging has it been? Uh, when did you decide you want to become a professional athlete or was it just a passion that developed uh, uh, later? Did your family support you from the very beginning? Tell us something about that. Uh, high jump is something which my, my parents were always sports oriented. They like the idea of sports. They love sports. And like, so the fact that uh, everybody was part of uh, they, we all encouraged sports in the house my parents so, uh, themselves watched cricket a lot of them my brother was an all-rounder in sports he did everything so well and uh, he was quite fine with it and and when I joined St. Paul's so Darjeeling those things we have to study and do the uh, sports together and that's when I realized that all right let's just 
take it up and you know hajam was not something which i wanted to make a profession or a goal out of it it was just something which i loved doing and slowly i realized that you know what people love doing can automatically become a profession because it starts paying you for it and starts giving the popularity but till now i haven't taken it as my profession i like it as a passion absolutely passion is the key uh sharad as a para athlete has the journey been a bit different and and more challenging for you uh, or how do you look at it Uh, it is of course challenging because the society is still not accepted to see the motto of the recent paralympic games was 15 v the 15 what is implies v the 15% of the world who are physically challenged mentally challenged who are all having different disabilities in them so it's about that so the, we are trying to promote the fact that you know there are 15% of us and we are all trying to like get equal space it's not easy for a para athlete of course only the government has come ahead you know this is the first time it's so amazing that the government is ahead of the private inquiries to support the para athletes it never happens that any progress comes first from the government it never but this is what it is happening now in our country that the government is leading the way for the athletes sharad uh, my last question to you what is your message to fellow para athletes all budding athletes to everyone And so here the message is not just for the athletes it's for the people the world that the world is going through a certain un- un- unprecedented conditions like the par- like the corona virus so things are not very simple it's not very uh, we tend to break up when we realize that you know what everything looks so helpless my own to say that you know just don't feel that you know there are a lot of us we are having the same issues just hold on that tight because we time things will get better just 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 love the things what you're doing if you love something just carry on doing don't worry about the outcome of it there might be some nasty roads on it there might be some hurdles but you just have to go through it and that's that's how it should be like first just keep the passion and the strength alive absolutely keep the passion and the strength alive thank you so much sharad kumar wish you more success in life